Hi there, welcome to another video. This is Sorry Cubes. This is a quick game and it's a game which has sold many, many copies. It sold at least 5 million when I got this copy, which was last year. And it's won uh, 20 million, uh, sorry, 20 awards. And, but there are thousands and millions of combinations of how these things can go together. Now, the reason why I like to show you videos is Sometimes you don't have to turn away. In this instance, it shows you, you know, where you could choose to list things if you can just about see uh, those symbols in there. So this is a storytelling game. What you're doing, you're going to roll dice and you're being to tell a story. It's a great travel game. It's a small like thing. You pick three, just grab things at random. And this is basically about our character. It could be our hero, it could be our nemesis, it could be anything you like. And in this instance, let's say he's a detective who's a happy detective who likes reading, which I think reading a detective seems to make sense. We could even say that they were a detective writer. Let's just say they're a detective, a happy detective that likes reading. You know, all of them, and you pick one. So I'd say a happy detective likes reading. Sorabi. Let's not say they got stung by them, because I think that's a sort of a negative stereotype. And uh, he saw a bee. Um, whilst learning to pick locks, because he might need to do that, because some detectives go outside the law. And uh, he sees a beetle or a scarab. And uh, he's thinking, right, okay, well, um, that's fine, but um, it's running away because there's an electrical problem in the house that he's about to get into, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, an electrical problem in the house, let's say that. Um, but he's uh, happy to finally get in because there's a tree growing in the house and it was going to break apart the house, which is a problem because it was his friend who'd asked him to get into the house and figure out why there are so many leaves on the floor. And he looks up and he sees that there is a shooting star, the end. So the way I like to play this game is uh, ideally potentially say ending, be the person to end, because then I can say the, the end and adds a nice thing to it. So there's lots of variety, obviously, with uh, how you play it. Uh, I've even played it solo just because there was a particular day, I think, of the week that I hadn't played. And I thought, let's try that out. So these can go back, obviously, any way you like. You can get expansions. I've tried out some of them. They can be sci-fi things. They can be um, quests and heroes. And there's uh, you know, a whole range of stuff uh, that you can sort of learn about as well. But there's uh, multiple languages in here too. Yeah, as an example, yeah, Fantasia. I've played the Fantasia one, and I've played with the Actions one as well. So this lets you do some of the things. Um, definitely try out the first one, though, I would say, initially, to see if you like it. But as storytelling goes, I know screenwriters use this. I've seen it in um, uh, Gadget Man with Rich Daiwadi, that program on uh, Channel 5. And, uh, yeah, it's been effective. It's small, portable. It's very quick, though. It's only like a minute long. But at the same time, yeah, it's a nice conversation starter. And, yeah, I mean, they are dice o overall, but 136 grams to... Chuck in a pocket and carry around. Uh, obviously, it's less than um, you know half a can of fizzy drink. So there we go. That is St Rory's story cubes.